hello guys welcome to my channel today we're going to be doing a bonnet tutorial actually a double-sided bonnet tutorial so we're going to be using an african print and a satin material for this bonnet what you want to start doing is folding your african print into two then into four like you want to first fold it into two then go further to fold it into four like what i'm doing right now guys take note that when i'm doing the folding i make sure i'm folding it from the bad side right i don't actually let the good side be what portrays outside i let the bad side portray so i'm doing this because if i want to go further to mark anything or all sorts i'm not destroying the good side of the material later on you want to take your tape and measure 15 I'm measuring 15 because I like my bonnet fluffy. I like when, like any hairstyle you do, it has to fit in here. I like when my bonnet accommodates any hairstyle I want to do. So I fit in. Um, so I'm actually measuring 15. You measure 15 all around. And what you're doing is measuring 15 from the point that is not separated. You don't want to start measuring from the point that has four heads separated. You want to measure from the point where it's whole. That is what you should take note of. So you just have to measure 15 or um, you can actually go with your flow if you like a bonnet that is small then you can measure anywhere from 11 to 13 but if you like a bonnet that's big as like accommodating and also what i want to do is i want to have a bonnet that uh, has like a, it has a form of decoration as the band so it's not like it's a bonnet that has a band or an elastic right from the beginning so that's why i'm really uh, measuring 15. i hope you get what i'm saying so 15 is just perfect for me for the design of the bonnet that i'm going with so you just go with your flow so when i'm done like when i'm done marking uh, all around and you discover i use an iPhone so you can use a, a chalk any other thing you want to use when i'm done i just go in with a pair of scissors and i cut that up that is all and what i was earlier saying you see now that i was using an eye pencil to mark this and i'm marking it at the back side giving me an advantage if i was if i like folded it uh, uh, the, uh, from the good side you discover that uh, marking it like this with this pencil actually destroys the material in one way or the other that's why you should fold from the back side from the back side so no matter uh, what you are using to mark whether it's a teller's job a normal job a teacher's job or what pencil not anything you want to use just try to fold it so any rough work you're doing it should be on the back side of the material so guys that is just it it looks like so when you're done cutting this is how it should look it should be a round circle it can either be a big circle or a small circle it all depends on the measurement you took so guys when i'm done with that what i do is i take the uh, satin material and i do exactly the same thing just measure it as you did fold it into four cut and off that's just it later on what i want to do is join the two materials together also take note that here what i'm doing is you joining them from the like the, the good sides are facing each other while the bad sides are facing apart that is what you want to do so that when you tap that all around, then you flip it to the good side you discover that you, you know, the work is perfectly done so you just have to like put the two together the way i'm doing then you want to go ahead to like tag it with a needle or a safety pin or the pins that i used to tag close like this like whatever you have at home just make use of it you're tacking it so the material doesn't move while you're trying to get it stitched
really when you're done with that guys what you want to do is sew close stitches at the side just about half inches or you know, something so close not but not too close that it can actually go apart when you like try to expand or something it's just like you have an inch have an inch is the best measurement to like tag it all around you just want to sew your close stitches all around you don't want stitches that are too big because they might actually get destroyed along the line so you just want close stitches that are so close like the machine actually did it but not exactly like the machine did it you know what i'm saying so you just take close stitches all round like exactly what i am doing you can still do better i'm not perfect at this so when you get to the end you just have to secure a stitch and also take note that i'm leaving out a space like i'm not actually tagging it all around i left a little space and that space is to fit the material to the good side yeah that's what the space is for so you just have to flip the material to the good side so when you're done guys this is how it should look like and then now you just have to go ahead and press it with it and uh, iron well I set uh, the ironing in respect to the material I have like the texture of the material or something you understand what I'm saying because I actually have satin polyester cotton jeans set on my iron so but if you don't have an iron that does this then what you want to do is set your iron moderately you don't want something too hot you don't something too mild you just want something average because you want to attain a very good result So when, when you're done guys, what you want to do is measure inches, like what I do now is I'm measuring 3 inches off the first point, 3 inches because like I earlier said I want to design around my bonnet, so this 3 inches now is to give it that flurry design I want in front of my bonnet, so I just measure 3 inches around because I actually want it. Uh, a little bit dramatic you can go with two inches one inch whatever works for you so i just take three inches all around and then while taking three inches all around now i'm adding one inch extra inch like this is what i mean first i start by marking three inches then go ahead to mark one inches more that's the space where the one inches more I'm adding is a space where the elastic band is going to be inserted. So when I'm done now, all I do is I just go ahead now to like stitch it all around. And guys, you need to take note that I started stitching from the space I uh, left our uh, area left to flip the material to the good side. So when I st stitch, I still come and end at the point where I ended. You just need to secure a st stitch exactly at the point where you ended. That is still keeping that space because if you want to insert um, an elastic band, then you need to keep that space so the elastic band can bypass those two stitches to meet uh, the space it has to enter. Like, do you understand what I'm trying to do? So now I'm going to like go over now for the with the last line, the other line where the elastic, like the line for the elastic band. That is where I'm, I'm at right now. So just take another stitch or um, creating the space for the elastic band. So guys there you go there you come done yeah so that's the space where the elastic band is going to go through 
now um since i didn't ha i didn't have a safety pin at home i just had to use my needle as a safety pin and then you see i got uh, an elastic band the i had just the bigger size and i needed just something small so i just had to like cut what i needed and then separate it into two to make tiny uh, elastics and now the circumference of my head was about 22 or so and because you want something that fits you but without strangling you <laughs> if you know what i mean i had to go with uh, 20 i just reduced one inch from the measurement so actually it fits me but doesn't strangle me so thereafter what i had to use was the cup of a pen i just had to secure just use something to secure it something you know can go around so i just secured it with a cup of a pen and then inserted the elastic band all around and i earlier secured it at the starting point with a needle as i said a safety pin is the best thing to use here but i didn't have one so i just had to use the needle i was working with so you all you do is just insert the elastic band all around through the space you have kept for it So when you're done, all you want to just do is secure the elastic band and cover up the space you left, the spaces you left area on. So there you go guys, that's the output right there. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming up. Bye!